Two years ago, this growler's fiery end played out live on American TV. Military officials say an aircraft had to abort its takeoff and then caught fire. Australia had just taken ownership of the US-made warplane. As it prepared to take off from Nevada, a devastating engine fault sparked a runway emergency and an early retirement for a cutting-edge piece of technology. I can confirm that, yes, the aircraft was written off. For months, Air Force pushed for compensation to no avail. The US uh, have advised us that they are not able to provide compensation for the full cost of the aircraft. We're not Sorry, getting any. Zero. We're not getting, we're getting we're zero. Not getting any. Yeah, there, there are elements of the aircraft that we could salvage off there. Officials concede it's been an expensive lesson. When we lost the growler, we were not aware of the detailed commercial arrangements. This was something that was done under previous Labor government and it was a decision that was taken. Now the department's taking a good look at all of its big overseas purchases. To make sure that we protect, uh, that we're adequately protected and appropriately protected. While the loss of a brand new aircraft is expensive, it's nothing compared to the final figure for Australia's largest defence project, the Future Submarine Program. Officials now estimate the true cost of building and maintaining those boats could reach $225 billion over the next 60 years. The Admiral in charge stresses that eye-watering figures only an educated guess. We'll have to develop part more accurate through life support costs as the boat is designed and delivered. In other words, they've got little idea about the final cost.